very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so we just want to follow up what happened with the signals that I have sent this week and thankfully most of the signals are going in the profit however uh, something happened today that led for some signals to go against the desired direction uh, let me just show you please here uh, this this news actually today hit the market that the United States and China welcome constructive to, uh, trade talks after the delay uh, the delay which has been lasting for about more than uh, six months uh, the commercial deal between uh, United States and China has actually made a positive progress and that has affected the dollar it actually weakened the dollar and gave a strength to the Japanese yen therefore we can notice here my friends Today, the USDJPY has actually made this a huge uh, rising after the announcement of this news, which has also led to many pairs, which has actually, they were actually going in the right direction. However, right after the news hit the market, the US dollar uh, got even weaker. And as we can see right here, uh, USD CAD has almost reached the take profit level. But the other pairs, however, uh, they were they were all going in the profit, but sadly, uh, they have reversed so what should we do right now now of course I just wanted to mention that this is very normal what happened uh, that's why I'm telling you always to keep your eyes on the news something unexpected might happen if you want to become a forex trader and actually you want to become a day trader you always have to pay attention to the, to the news it's impossible there is no way that you will find a successful forex trader who doesn't pay attention to the news all the time not only that but you also need to analyze the market so or the news so uh, you see this in news hitting the market so you should know what will gonna happen to the US dollar how it's gonna affect the gold how it's gonna affect the oil how it's gonna affect the other pairs and so on anyway let's begin right now so regarding the pound actually something um, hold on I want to show you something one second all right so I just wanted to show you the DXY uh, or the US dollar currency index uh, on trading view and actually what we can see here is very interesting because on the four hour chart what we can see right here let me just uh, I actually hit their uh, platform it's not really quite uh, comfortable for me anyway what I wanted to say here is um, the pair is curr currently ranging near to Fibonacci 38.2 and I think if I'm not mistaken uh, we are facing right here a strong key support level which was also a strong support zone here as well and as we can see the pair is still ranging in this support zone therefore after seeing the closure of the candle, we can expect for the DXY to the, to the rise right after hitting that previous support level and the, the remarkable thing here is is we are having here also a support trend line like that so the thing I want to say here is if we see the candle falls down here uh, it might not reverse immediately on the support it actually might go a little bit more to hit FIBO 23.6 and then from that point the dollar is gonna reverse and gain more strength again I'm saying that because on the weekly candle let me just er erase all of that on the weekly candle we can see that we have a bullish pin bar and that indicates a bullish reversal after the uh, after it hit the strong support level on the price of 92 that being said we need to analyze what's gonna happen right now with the US dollar and with the other pairs so for the pound USD actually what happened right now is just a shock of the market of the, uh, the shock in the market for the news however uh, all in all the USD GP, uh, sorry the pound USD is gonna go in the right direction but it might take some time so what happened is we need actually to increase a little bit only the safe zone to be at the top of the resistance on uh, 1.31854 unfortunately that happened and we, we cannot do anything actually about it so let's just uh, go along with the market and tell you exactly what is gonna happen so the thing I'm gonna do right now is just increasing the safe zone and sadly it's gonna actually huge right now it's gonna I think 60 pips yeah 74 pips uh, that's gonna be the safe zone I'm certainly sure pound USD is not gonna exceed that level of the resistance however 
uh, please pay attention for the news again as I said and be careful of your funds and how you are investing your money in this deal because uh, all in all I, I'm certainly sure that the pound USD is gonna fall but you need actually my friends to maintain a proper money management and don't uh, enter full loss um, I would personally if I have opened the trade right here I might close it right now and just wait for the right moment to enter the sell order therefore and for those who did not uh, yet open the, the trade for the pound USD let's make a proper sell area and frankly speaking the best sell area is right now it is exactly right now it is where the resistance right here is last uh, strong and holding the position we can see that this resistance right here on 1.31456 was also holding its position right here as well and here as well and right now we are on this the very same level and we can see that this, this resistance has been holding the position for a really long time for more than um, I think almost a month therefore we can start shorting the pound USD right away let me just change this one here again this is for those who did not yet open the trades uh, 31456 we can short uh, the gold uh, sorry the gold the pound USD and the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 40 pips and hopefully it's gonna be safe this time and again I'm again I want to explain to my to you my friends what happened today uh, was not expected and it was the only reason most of the signals started to go against the direction now looking at the AUD USD AUD USD is still going fine and I believe there is no, absolutely nothing to be changed with this signal because the pair is still ranging in the safe zone and actually it is inside and I don't think there is any any reason uh, needed to change this signal most likely it is gonna still go in, in the uh, take profit level and if we check Fibonacci level it is gonna even um, it might reverse after hitting Fibonacci 61.8 exactly right here on 0 0.72.75 and then it's gonna continue the fall uh, all in all AUD USD is still in the safe zone so therefore absolutely nothing needed to be changed USD CAD I don't know what's wrong with my anti meter trader 4 I mean this is a buy not sell why is mentioning here sell it is buy nay no it's buy let me just confirm hold on I'm just here on the other side watching my video just to be sure of what uh, signals uh, I have sent just to be sure look at that uh, USD CAD is buy at 1.315 okay it's wrong here let me just fix it hold on yeah sorry about what happened MetaTrader just mixed up the numbers uh, from the pound USD and euro USD all in the USD CAD however I have fixed it and as we can see uh, the USD CAD uh, was going right in the profit and reverse exactly as what I have expected and it was going all in all in total of 81 pips of profit and then reversed just 16 pips before it hit the uh, take profit level so anyway um, um, USD CAD actually was still going well and reverse on the resistance so I, I highly recommend everyone to close it immediately or if you want you can wait for another reversal at the same level of the buy order but personally I would recommend everyone to just close it and just take the small profits as, pos as soon as possible because as we can see right now it might fall if you want to open the trade again it's okay however um, I actually regret telling you to close it there is no need there is no need because USD actually is going to rise therefore um, I'm gonna take back my word and I'm gonna tell you don't close it keep it running uh, until it hit the same entry again I believe the USD CAD is gonna actually get the take profit level the thing I hit because actually it has reversed exactly what I have mentioned and then it just went just before hitting the take profit level and went all the way back in my opinion that makes the signal not valid I really hate re-entering the same signal again but however I believe that the USD is gonna rise therefore I'm gonna keep the signal let's check the EURUSD now for the EURUSD 
um, it was also going well and the beautiful thing is it has reversed exactly at what I have mentioned exactly at 1.18486 it reversed and went for almost or total of 64 pips of profit but again because of the news about the deal between United States and China it has actually went up again however I believe the go uh, sorry why I keep saying the gold no? Uh, I believe that the euro USD is gonna continue to rise a little bit, go to go inside the safe zone, and it's gonna hit the strong resistance level on 1.18860. Uh, eventually, it's gonna go inside. Let me just show you. Look at that strong resistance level we're facing right here. As we can see, it was a strong resistance level in the past, and even after the breakout, the market has immediately went down with just two candles. That indicates us a really strengthen the level of the resistance because we can see after the retest, the market has immediately made another major drop. So these strong bearish candles, right after hitting the strong resistance level, indicating a strength also on that level. Therefore, we can expect from the market um, to rise a little bit more. And this is actually going to be the best level to start shorting the EURUSD. And for the take profit level, it's going to just remain the same. Now we need to discuss the USDGPY. USDGPY has went against the analysis, as I said, because of the deal between U United States and China. Therefore, we can see that break the breakout has happened right here. But the thing is, what happened was just a correction or actually a reaction from the market. What is happening right now is going to be the, the correction. And if we check the market, we can see that we have in here a strong support level, which has become a resistance. Therefore, uh, the market, if uh, it's going to continue the rise, it's not going to exceed that resistance level and then it's going to continue the fall. Therefore, we need to send another signal for the USDGPY after what happened. So let me please correct the signal for the USDGPY and make sure it is proper right now. How many pips is that? Okay, good. So we can increase it to be like that. That's fantastic. That's perfectly fine. All right. So, of course, uh, we need to go along with the market and forget uh, the losses happened from the previous signal. What happened, happened. And again, it is not my fault what happened, my friends. It was because of the unexpected news about this deal. So, here goes your signal for the USDGPY. Um, we're just going to have to wait for another touch for the pair. And again, I'm selecting this level right here to sell because we're having right here another resistance level, which was also a support in the past. However, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I don't know why I I'm, I'm keep doing these mistakes. The entry is not here. It should be right here. Yes, that's much better. That's more convenient. Allow me to explain the reason because exactly the support is right here and the resistance was also right here. And also the top of the resistance number one is right here. This is resistance number one. So therefore we can expect from the pair to rise a little bit more and hit our entry before it's going to continue the fall. So this is our entry for the USDGPY and the take profit level is going to be exactly right here on the support level. Hopefully it's going to deliver for us at least 122 pips of profit. So let me write for you. Uh, sell, oh my god, sell for the USDGPY at 106.660 and that's going to be our safe zone my friends and for the take profit level it's going to be on 105.443 again hopefully it's going to be very good signal and will deliver us a lot of profits let's check the USDCHF actually for the USDCHF there's absolutely nothing to be changed uh, the pair did not yet uh, reach our entry point. It's almost there. I think it's just reversed like three pips away. Yeah, only three pips. And it is almost there. Uh, let me just mention that the pair might actually go inside the safe zone until hitting that previous resistance level right here. And then from that point, the pair is gonna continue to rise and it's gonna hit our take profit level. So USDCHF is still remaining uh, as it is, no changes there. Now let's check the gold. Also the gold, uh, there are currently no changes in the signal. Everything is still going very well. 
and the trade has just been activated as you can see the gold is right now going in total of 61 or 62 pips of profit and the good thing here is we're having this hammer it indicates uh, sorry uh, yeah it's a hammer and it, it's indicate uh, it indicates actually a bullish reversal so i think uh, the gold uh, signal is uh, active and it's going well and yes i think there is nothing abs absolutely nothing wrong to keep the signal of the gold so there goes your weekly your midweek analysis uh, video i really hope it's gonna be very helpful and i really hope of course that is gonna bring everyone a lot of profits so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching